over here come from Traction Dynamics down here in Woodstock, Georgia in the southern United States of America. Now, I get lots of letters on the boob tube and information from the intranets. Uh, people be asking me all the time, Max, you, how come you figures you're so smart? Now, this letter I received here, it says, Mr. Max, how come you think you're smarter than all of the engineers at the Honda Motor Corporation? Signed, City Slicker from New York City. Well, Mr. Slicker, we've been fixing motorcycles around here a long time. Now, I didn't get to go to college or university, uh, but I was the first to graduate from my class of 12 and I did it in a record time of 17 years. It was the fastest ever in my Cherokee County, okay? So I'm smarter than the average person from here in the United States, okay? So anyway, it's not that hard. I work on a motorcycle and I look at it and I say, well, that don't make no sense. Wonder why they did that. It don't work right. So then what I do is I take a picture of it and I show it to people. And then just half the people think I can't figure it out because Han's smarter than me. Let me show you an example of what we do. Come, come, come on in here in the shop with a good old country boy. And I'm going to show you another defect in the Honda Goldwing. It ain't hard to find. Come on, y'all. Here we go. Pair of shock absorbers off of Honda Gold Wing 2018. Now, according to the people on the internet, Honda had four years of development, hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of engineering and time, and, and the smartest people in the world. Okay, so here's the back shock absorber off of Gold Wing. Now, in the top of it is what we call a spherical bearing. It lets the shock move and tumble and move up and down nice and smooth. You see how that is smooth like that? That's important. Now, if your shock was going like this, you'd want it to be free up there at the top, wouldn't it? Just kind of makes sense. Well, on the back of the go wing, it don't really go up and down, going back and forth like this much here. Reticulation angle, we call it, kind of advanced language. But it don't really move much, okay? But still, they put that fancy part in there. Why they did that, I don't know. It really ain't necessary. But it is a, a luxury. We're going to call it a luxury item. Okay? Now, here's the front shock off the gold wing. Now, guess what? The front shock reticulates a whole bunch when it moves on the new double wish bone suspension. Now, guess what? There ain't no sprinkle bearing in there. That's just terrible. That don't work right at all. That's exactly the place you should have a spherical bearing, or a needle bearing even, any kind of bearing. But a solid rubber bushing, that's just stupid. Shouldn't be like that. So why would that be bad, you say? Well, let's think about it. When I take my shock and I move it over to the side and put a whole lot of pressure on it, a shock is two pieces. What do you suppose that does? That bends the two pieces against each other, makes them stick, makes them bind, then it don't work right at all, does it? It's going to make drag on the seal, like this here. Look how it does in the shot. I'm going to show you this just so you can see how much the shot moves. Holding the shot. Now look at the shaft move. Now why would you want the two ends of the shot going like that? It's going to reduce the reliability make the seal leak possibly. It's gonna make the shock stick. It won't soak small sharp bulk as well as it could have. Now, all those people in Japan, no one could figure out that that was just stupid. But one good old guy in Georgia and his team of, of a handful of men and women in Georgia well, here in America, we figured that out in the first two minutes. We pulled this shock off about six months ago. So, for all you people out there that think that a small American business can't fix the things that are broken and poorly designed by the smartest people overseas, I have a great big heap of pile of doo-doo for you, okay? So, 
America can do it, and we can do it better, and we can improve it, and I guarantee it. So, this here's Lex, giving you a big doo doo if you don't like what I gotta say. We're signing off, we're gonna keep bringing you more problems we find, and bringing more solutions to get solutions to get your gold wing working as good as you possibly can. We'll see you at Wing Ding next week, okay? Come on up to Knoxville, Tennessee. We're going to meet up some of my kinfolk up there, and we all have a good old time. Yeah!